us on the beer drinking opportunity tour in the KX Country Clubhouse. Let's welcome Josh Ross. Hey, buddy. I've been looking like a rock star. Going on appreciate you having me hey we appreciate you doing this because like you are actually on tour and uh we're looking forward to you friday night in oshawa saturday night in london and that's kind of your stomping grounds because you are what raised in burlington ontario yeah yeah i born in water down raised in burlington high school in burlington and then uh i went to western university in london so it's gonna be it'll be cool to kind of go back home for a little bit and and so what's because you're now living in in Nashville. We saw that you just got your Nashville plates. Congratulations! I appreciate that. Um, so, it, how many family and friends are coming to these shows now in KX country? Oshawa, I probably got like fifteen to twenty, and then London's gonna be a lot. London's probably closer to 40, 50 people. So I'm I'm, I'm really excited. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. It, it's, it's cool. One of those things where it's like so many years of work and doing, you know, moving to Nashville and things going on and. Um, Time for my family to have some fun with it. So it's going to be great. I love this. And and on a big tour too, like this is not just, it, it's funny because there's artists like you that we say you're not, an, even though you're swamped now, this, like this is 2022, 2023, the year of Josh Ross, you've been plugging away at this for a while. So this is, you are yeah. not an overnight success. All of a sudden people's eyes just opened. Yeah, I would not. Yeah, say definitely not overnight. It's been it's been a lot. I mean, I moved to Nashville in 20, 2019, like kind of pre COVID. And um, it's been it's been a while, but it's it's been awesome. So I'm, I'm really thankful. How's the how's the tour going? Are you loving it? Because I mean, this is not uh, just the only tour you're on. You're on a couple of tours this year. Yeah, no, this this one's been so great. Lee's just been really awesome to watch. I mean, he's such a great singer and just how he treats the crowd and how he incorporates different things into the show has been really, really awesome just to like watch him. And learn from him so it's been, it's been a lot of fun i love that he's brought two canadians on tour of course with uh, him yourself and tenille arts and uh we're just so proud of you and i know even though you reside in nashville we still call you our hometown boy because oh, hometown uh, kx94 7's hometown yeah it is and it's interesting because i'll tell you something uh we're proud of you in the sense of when you know this happens a lot in radio. We'll get texts and we'll get stuff from, from family members and people. And they'll say, you got to watch out for this. I remember 10 years ago, it happened when we first came on the air, it happened with Tim Hicks. Hey, you got to, have you heard of Tim Hicks? Have you heard of Tim Hicks? And then all of a sudden we got inundated. Have you, have you heard of Josh Ross? Have you, and we had, but kind of, and then boom, you're on the radar and we're playing the crap out of you and you're getting number one singles. So we are so proud of you. Thank you. No, I mean, it really does mean a lot. It's, it's cool to have kind of that hometown, uh, you know, attachment to it. It's, it's really, really honestly awesome. So songs that make people feel things and also hype up the crowd a little bit. So I get a good mixture of stuff and I like to move around on the stage. So we're trying to use the, the full stage. But my biggest thing is after 25 minutes, I want people to leave and feel like they got to kind of know me a little bit more. So I know Lee Bryce meant a lot to you before because, of course, inviting you to be on his tour. However, Lee Bryce had a, a big moment in your life recently uh, with a certain invite. Can you tell us about that moment for people that don't know already? At Old Red in Nashville. And, and um, it was really cool. We, we, I got to you know, play a full set for, for people in town and, and kind of what was going on with you know, my upcoming songs. And then uh, at the very end, they were like, can you stay on stage for like for a second? And I didn't know what was going on. And um, Lee ended up coming up on this like big screen. It was like a FaceTime screen behind the stage. and and then. Uh, I thought he was just congratulating me on, on the sync release because it was like the sync release party. And then he asked me to make my my, my opera debut in, in July, which is super awesome. And it's just crazy. It's one of those things where, you, you know, so many of my like idols, including Lee and, and you know, people have, have done that and played that. And then to be my turn is is really awesome. So that's pretty, pretty. And as a Canadian, I mean, I, I hate yeah. to say it because sadly, we're still saying it in the sense of it's great when we see the Canadians get to play the Grand Ole Opry. And so congratulations. I know that you think 40 members at the London show is going to be a lot. Can you imagine how many are coming down to Nashville yeah. in July? It's crazy. I, it, it's one of those things that just, you know, you, again, it's just it's such a special place. And, and, and I, I am very proud, you know, especially, you know, being from, from Canada and Ontario and um, it's a lot of years of work. So I'm, I'm very thankful for it. All right, so uh, coming up in the end of May, you've got a brand new single that's going to be coming out, hitting uh, radio called Trouble. Are you Trouble? Oh, I would like to think I am. Last night I might have been. Um, 
but no, it's it's trouble's a real song. I mean, it's I'm excited. It, it reminds me a lot of First Taste of Gone. It has those like those moments in it where I like I literally just I feel like First Taste of Gone was the time when I found myself, you know, vocally and 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 writing and um trouble kind of brings me back to that feeling of like this is probably one of the most real songs I have, if not the most real song. And um yeah, I was finding myself in a little bit of trouble in Nashville when I moved there and uh, struggling with, you know, just adjusting and going through relationship stuff. And um, it's, the song is as real as it probably gets. So I'm, I'm excited, you know, already you know, really thankful for everybody that's been, you know, streaming it and, and doing that kind of stuff. And I'm so excited this will be my first single, kind of both sides of the border. So it's really awesome. It'll be my first U.S. and Canadian single. So it's congratulations. Awesome. So in other words, what you're saying is we're going to get another, we're going to get to know Josh Ross a little bit better with this yeah, next single. This one's definitely very, very real. Yes. Yeah, so okay. It's been honestly so cool to watch every night, like just playing it and people that like are already, you know, learning it and, and gravitating towards it. It's, it's really, really awesome. So. Oh, well, I just want to, I know you're busy and you're, I mean, this, you've got this uh, beer drinking opportunity tour. Of course, you're going to be on the Nickelback Brantley Gilbert tour. That's crazy. Uh, kicking off Boots and Hearts in August with Tim Hicks on opening night on the Thursday. And I have to leave on this note because it's in Hamilton. Uh, congratulations on all of your CMA Ontario Award um, nominations. That's coming up in June. And of course, the nominations will be coming out shortly for the CCMAs. We know you're going to be on those nominations as well. So congratulations. I know everybody wow. says awards don't mean anything. Yeah, they kind of do when you win them. So we're rooting <laughs> for you. <laughs> we're wow, rooting yeah. for you. We'll see how we do. I'm just, you know, again, it's it, thankful for just being recognized and, and seeing what's, you know, the work that's been put in over the last couple of years. It's been awesome. I love that you're up for, I think if I recall, I didn't look this up ahead of time. You're up for Rising Star and male artist right yeah which yeah. which is monumental you know it's like to be in both categories it's like oh, yeah. look how far i came in one year <laughs> yeah exactly no it's it's really awesome and i just i appreciate you know everybody especially you guys so oh, we awesome. appreciate you too okay go have fun i know a bunch of people in kx country are going to be in oshawa they're going to be in london we're covering both uh, venues and uh i know go get some rest buddy you got I mean, you're, how are you going to get through the next year Oh, we're good. We're good. Just can't be going out. You know, you gotta, you gotta take your days off. We got a day off today, so we're doing good. Josh Ross, thank you for joining us in the KX Country Clubhouse. Appreciate and we uh, we look forward to many more chats with you and much more success. Okay. We'll see you soon. Thanks, yeah. Josh. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.